if you own a WordPress website and thinking of to actually appoint or assign someone to assess your WordPress website, um, you know, to actually monitor your contents or at the same time contribute content on your WordPress website, how do you do that? Hey guys, this is Zami from DNC. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can actually add and create a new user with different role and different restrictions to access to a certain features on your WordPress websites. Sometimes you might be having, in terms of like a few people that will be managing the content on your WordPress website. Yeah, so but um, you want to restrict the limit of a certain users in accessing, um, you know, the, the settings. Yeah, so how are you able to actually add a new role um, in your WordPress website and um, giving out the access um, to the dedicated persons, right? So, like for example, um, you wanted to create some. Um, you know, uh, editor role for someone just to uh, post the content and edit the contents, yeah? So this is where you need to go, Um, you know, you need to make sure that you are having your WordPress uh, dashboard and this access, it need to be the admin access, okay? You can only add a user role using an admin access, yeah? So um, this is what we are looking at over right here. If you can see under the users area, you can actually see the add new. Okay, so click under the add new, and that is where we have these sections over right here for you to add in all the information, right? So what we are looking at over right here uh, is in terms of the role, uh, there's five types of role that you can select, okay, as a default WordPress website. There's subscribers, there's contributor, there's actually, um, you know, author, editor, and also administrators, right? But what is the difference with, between all these roles? What is the you know the power of of them right on in uh, on individual role what can they do on the wordpress settings and things like that right so this is basically a table for you to have a you know a better understanding of what we are looking at over right here so if you can see um basically admin it simply means that you can have the access to every single thing <laughs> you can have the access to every single thing you can read the post you can comment on the post you can edit delete the own post you can publish the post you can upload files you can publish edit and delete any page and post you can manage the category moderate the comments you can manage the plugins you can add remove the users and you can also edit the team okay so that is the power of admin admin is basically like a super admin you can do every single thing on your WordPress website okay so some people will be asking me exactly then can i actually have two admin access um well yes you can have two admin access okay you can create another user's access uh with the admin role as well um but the only thing that you have to be very careful uh who are you passing on the admin access okay so if you're passing on someone that you trust and go all the way you know like just go ahead with that okay but if let's say you are passing on to someone that you don't really know and um or perhaps you are actually sharing out with uh, a third party and things like that then you might need to be uh, very careful with that because with the admin access they can basically log in to get admin access and come and delete you uh, from the user access you understand what i'm saying because admin will have the power of deleting the users so they are also an admin. So they can actually look into your admin access and go ahead and delete you completely out from your WordPress access as, as well. So then when the moment that you come in, you know, you're trying to lock in the access, suddenly why, you know, your locking access, uh, you know, is no longer working. Reason behind is that it's another admin user has already deleted your user access. <laughs> you know what I'm saying right there? So, so uh, admin um, access is basically very powerful and you need to be very careful with that, yeah? So with editor that we are looking at over right here, editor is actually the second highest rank tier okay and um the only thing they can't do is that they can't edit the team they can't uh edit the plugin they can't manage a the plugin they can't actually add and remove the user okay other than that everything else they can do okay otherwise this is the part that we are looking at over right here is more to it is to um after they publish the post okay they can only edit their own post 
Whereas editor, they can edit their own posts and they can edit other people's posts as well. They are managing the whole post on the website itself, okay? So you could have, if let's say you are having some, your, your team members is contributing the content on the website itself, you can actually create, let's say, like five authors. So then, you know, each of them, you know, will be having an author access and uh, yeah, they can only edit their own posts so they won't be able to sabotage other people's posts as well, okay? Um, while contributors over right here, um, basically nothing much they can only uh, edit delete the post own post itself okay um, they can only read and comment they can't do anything else from there okay they can't even upload files and stuff like that right uh, subscribers is the lowest rank amongst all the role itself over right here and this is usually catering to um, your readers okay so when a reader coming into your websites and they are thinking of like leaving a comment and things like that so you can actually request them to um, sign up or you know as a users and uh, so that they will be able to comment on your post and that's all they can do they can only read and comment on your post okay so this is the access that we are looking at over right here so um, if let's say uh, we're going to do with um, author Role okay, so this is what you're going to see from here. Um, going back to your WordPress dashboard, if you can see that this is what I want you to observe over right here, okay. On the left hand side, this is all the settings that you can have as an admin, okay. Right after that, later we're going to create an author role and we are going to log in with that, uh, you know, that user uh, uh dashboard, right? WordPress dashboard, and you will be pretty much looking at the left navigation. So, right here will be uh limited, okay. So, let's see, uh, I'm going to do one with uh, you know, a username. Let's say I'm going to do it with my name, Zen. Um, the email you actually need to um, type in something okay over right here okay for the first name and the last name you can just go ahead and type in um, depending on you uh, doesn't matter it's an optional only username and also the email if required okay so uh, you can go ahead and show the password and you can actually just you know like uh, uh, you know like I don't know copy the password or you can actually reset the password by yourself okay so you can actually go, go ahead and do that here so i'm going to just uh copy and paste the password so right here and then you can actually choose to send the users um a notification so this notification it will actually send to these emails from here okay so for the role right here as i mentioned i'm going to choose the author okay so go ahead and select the author i'm going to add, add a new user Okay, so right after you add it, you can actually see from here is that um, under your user, all user settings, okay, you can see from here that the user will be listed right here and the role will be status right here, okay. Um, that's admin role, that's also an author role and perhaps there could be some other role from here as well. So now I'm going to log in, um, you know, to, to, to my author access and you can see the difference from the left hand side so right here, yeah. You can actually just uh, go ahead and log in to the new users that you created, right? And um, this is the one I'm going to log in. And once you log in, you can actually see that on the left navigation itself, um, it's basically being restricted. Lots of the um, access of the tools has been removed, okay? A lot of the access to the setting has been removed. For example, if you're looking back to my previous, uh, this screen itself, right? You'll be looking at over right here, there will be these, uh, blocking, you know, the appearance, the template is there, and we also have, like, for example, you know, the, um, you know, uh, the user's access, okay? The user's blocking's appearance as well, okay? The themes and things like that, right? But if you're going back to here, if you can see that on the left navigation, so right here basically um, it has been removed okay so uh, there's already very limited access that you can have yeah so another thing that i want to share with you guys is like for example when the moment that you go into all posts this is basically by the author post itself yeah so if you can see from here under the all posts right this is the previous one that i um i posted as a demo post and this is what you can see from here yeah the difference between these two posts is that hello world is not being posted by me okay hello world is being posted by another user from here okay so this post demo post it was posted by me the author is actually my name right Zemin Gui is over right here so what you can see is that in, in terms of these two settings over right here the one that's not posted by me I don't have any access to actually edit the post I can only view the post but the demo post over right here is being published by me right so that's where I will be having the, the authority and also you know the rights to actually edit my own post 
to also delete and trash my own post, okay? So if you can see from, from the tabs over right here as well, um, you know, very easy that they actually separated into, uh, you know, the all tab and also the my tab. The my tab is on all the posts that are being posted by you, okay? So they actually segregate very nicely um, in terms of based on the author posting as well. So now, um, I really highly recommend you guys to really look into this, um, you know, adding a new user uh, role for your, um, you know, for, for the people's that um, is going to handle your website, your WordPress website here. Yeah? So some of you guys will be ha ha having a team that is actually helping you to do uh, content creations, editing of your WordPress, or perhaps you actually, um, you know, um, outsource your web websites to actually, um, to your developers to actually, you know, build a website and things like that, right? So uh, you need to be very careful in terms of managing the user role from here. Yep. Some of the users role, like I said, they will have a, a higher, um, they have more, um, you know, access towards to certain setting and some of the users that they don't. So you need to make sure that, um, you know, the users that you're going to assign at the points, right? Um, what is the role? of them in your company and, and um, you, know, you know like how in details that you want them to actually assess your website from that okay so in order at the same time you can actually protect um you know your your website from that or else you know whoever any single ones that will be accessing your website will be able to have the rights to actually delete all the content on your website or perhaps delete all the pages on your website um that can be uh, very dangerous yep yeah? so um that's all for my this video uh let me know at the comment below if you're able to successfully uh create the user role for your wordpress website and um if you like our video remember to help us to like and share. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. How is like and share? If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video.